Hello, Wild FM listeners. This. Hi. This is. I don't know if you know what to call this show. Oh, we still haven't had a name yet, have we? I just put a placeholder and called it Anime Club. (laughs) Anime (laughs) Club. Why not? Because Ashley K. Show don't make sense no more. Does that mean I get to hold up a boom box with Pikachu on top of it at the end of the movie? Sure, why not? (laughs) (laughs) How was y'all day today? Ah! Fine. Same. Bad. (laughs) So I got a I got a I got a little bit of a story I got to tell you guys if that's all right with you guys. Go ahead. Go. This is what we're here for. So yesterday, okay, yesterday. I'm getting ready to go to work, <clears throat> brushing my teeth. I got one of them spin brush things, you know, that has like the oscillating head. You know, hey, man, you got to te- keep your teeth clean. So I'm brushing my teeth, brushing my teeth, spit in the sink, and I see blood. And I'm like, oh, man, what you, is this? You brushed too hard. That's exactly what I did. And I brushed so hard that I uh, I broke one of my teeth. What? Okay, did you like take a, is your toothbrush a <laughs> welder's thing? Like, what the <laughs> hell did you do? So I broke my tooth, and I ended up going to work, and I'm suffering in like, we'll just say minor like dental pain okay and i was like you know what? i'm calling the dentist i gotta go and get my tooth fixed and i didn't end up going to the dentist because if i did then i would have had cotton balls in my mouth because i was afraid that my mouth was not going to be healed for tonight's show uh, the dedication is real <laughs> i appreciate that that's awesome i probably would have done the same thing to be honest if i, I if i known that i was going to be like partially impaired in some some way, shape, or form. I don't know. But I respect that. I respect that, Ray. See, Ray Ray's here for the <laughs> love and dedication of this show. Whatever it's called. Because apparently yeah. it's not Ashley's no more. Well, it's not the Ashley K show anymore. Well, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't say it doesn't give you a good idea about what the hell this show is gonna Let's be about. Let's just call it anime and games. How, how about this? Why, why don't we let one of our listeners or viewers Nah, you know what? We should we should make that be like a patron goal. Be like, if you donate, you can choose what. <laughs> nah, but then that, it has to be like within a guideline though, because then they could just call it anything. Like they could call it. Pika. Oh my god! Do you remember when people were voting on the internet to name that freaking bridge? <laughs> I, <laughs> no, I missed. There that. was this thing where like people were trying to name it Bridgie McBridge Face. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I think they almost got something like one of those joke names like that, but then uh, you know, boring old people like, no, no, we can't name it Bridgie McBridge Face. We're not doing that. I'm like, pussy. You'd be you'd be surprised. I'd drive over a bridge that was called Bridgie McBridge Face. I would love it. I'd take pictures next to Bridgie McBridge Face. There should be Bridgie McBridge Face plushies, T-shirts, clothing line. So in other words, what you're saying is this is going to be called Radio. You you derped your cord. <laughs> radio make radio. The Radio Make Radio Show. <laughs> there, now we can hear Ray. Oh no, I was off. Wait, wh- were you? Yeah, the cord was a little derpy. It cut out. Oh man, you guys missed all, my story. It's all it's it's wo- Oh wait, did I do that? We good? Yeah. Testing. 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 <laughs> One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another evening on the radio. Here with Ryan Uchi and Ashley K. Tonight we talk about Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't match your voice. <laughs> I sound like too deathly and sinful and full of regrets. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about like the old lady that like serves you coffee at the diner? Hey, man. Ray, hold on. We're selling chocolates. We're selling chocolates. <laughs> you want another coffee? Somebody come here. Hurry up. I need another cigarette. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> But if you haven't already guessed, we're here talking about Pokemon, Mons in general, but obviously very Pokemon dominant because I feel like that's uh, what we know the most amongst the three of us, right? Pretty much. I mean, you you definitely have a history of Pokemon. I know that for a fact. You won't be listening to my okay. <laughs> Am I still not on? Yeah, wiggle your cord some more, Ray. Blink cord. Uh, 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 oh no, we're having technical difficulties. Maybe that's you might why just have to read. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, excuse you, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Am I on now? Yes, you are. Check, check, check. Oh, you guys yeah, can I hear can, me I coming can, through? I can hear you through the, the thing. Am I out now? Because I accidentally hit this. No, oh, no, I'm fine. still good. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you so need to get more studio monitors so you guys can hear yourself. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we'll get there yeah. in time, you know? Let, you know, let's just. Let's, let, for now, let's talk about Pokemon. But, you know, 
We're always looking for sponsors. If somebody wants to donate Het Studio Monitor. Nintendo. Or Muns. The Funs. Game Freak. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> like, show us some love, man. We got we got this stuff. What, do you guys want to save Pokemon for, like, later? And get all, the, like, the smaller things Mon-related out of the way first? Because I feel like we could this whole show could just be Pokemon, to be completely honest. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You could, it's only, you only have 20 years of Pokemon history to pull from. I think you can pull two hours worth of content out of that. Yeah, for sure. I I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, did you know that... Well, have you guys heard of a thing called Death Battle? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so did you know that they did a Pokemon versus Digimon Death Battle? I don't think I saw that one. No. Okay, well, good. Now I know good. what I'm watching when I get home. Perfect. All right. Uh, well, damn, should I even talk about it now? Because I don't want to spoil it for you. That's fine. <laughs> it's very educational death battle if you haven't seen it already. Um, it's by the guys. I think they're, sc- they're called Screw Attack. Yeah, Wiz and Boomstick. Hey, there you go. Ah, there I'm, I'm, I'm Wiz and Boomstick. Yeah, I watch way too many of those. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he sounds like, right? So, so they're like... Uh, they they basically are. Um, it's like a. It's like, I was about to call it a TV series. They're an online video series where they basically take like two icons or very like similar popular characters from different franchises, and they make them fight to the death in death battle. And they and it's really educational too. You learn a lot about the pros the cons of both characters, and it's really cool. Now for this one in particular. Of course, I was rooting for my boy Charizard because, <laughs> as the representative of Pokemon, they had, uh, they had either it was either Ash or Red, um, and then Charizard, versus Ty and Agumon, right? So of course, Agumon, you know, Digivolve, Digivolve two, Greymon, yes, precisely that, exactly. That. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you learn that. Uh, be, like you, you actually figure out through watching this that Digimon are actually pretty busted, and they are way overpowered in compared to Pokemon. And it's kind of sad because, <laughs> yeah, because like you don't realize this until you watch the death battle. And, like and I had no idea. Like I was like, oh, like you know, like Charizard could totally like you know like take no. Greymon, no. and then it's like, oh wait, then he has Metal Greymon. And then there's War Greymon. War Greymon. I don't even know what's beyond that. Isn't that ultimate or something like that? That's the champion form. Yeah. And like that's what I'm saying. Like Digimon have their 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 whole fluidity is they go from one Digivolution to the next to the next to the next based on like their connection with their like partner. And then after the battle is over, they run out of energy, they get mopped, whatever the case may be. They go right back to their like standard form, which I forget. Or what if the it's term like, is. like if they go champion and they really go all out, they go back down to rookie. Oh yeah, see that's thank you. I've watched that, a lot of Digimon. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> a, yeah. So they turn into like those little ball forms of themselves, and they have they might have a little spike or something, and they just yeah. hop around and they're like, hi, I'm hungry, like you know stuff it's, like that. It's like you're cute and incredibly annoying at the same time. Eggs, yep, 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 yep. So that's Digimon. And then Pokemon, of course, you know, once you evolve, you stay evolved. However, until they introduced Mega Evolution, that was like the closest thing that Pokemon had to compare itself to Digimon. And I was like, oh, yeah, dude, Mega Charizard X? (laughs) Nah, dude, we got this in a bag. Well, what's funny about that is I I, I watched (laughs) a video about that, how uh, Digimon and Pokemon are actually like extremely similar. The, I forget the guy's YouTube name. Uh, I saw it on YouTube and about how uh, you know how just what you were saying where they go from each uh, digivol. How do you digivolution? Say that? D- digivolution. Yes. Yeah, hey, 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 where's the bell? Oh, there it is. Wait, there, right you need the bell. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> we didn't hide it, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's the first bell ring of the evening. <laughs> nice. So uh, you did good for good deeds. You get you get a bell. <laughs> But the, the, they were saying that Pokemon for a while was copying Digimon with the like Z moves and stuff like that. Oh. How it was similar <laughs> to like the ultimate forms of the Digimon. Okay. I thought you were about to be like, nah, man, like Pokemon just straight off ripped off. I was like, but I'm pretty sure it came no, first. No, Pokemon was first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so you watch the death battle and you realize like, wow, this is 
this is like, why is this happening? Like, you, like at first, it's like they give Charizard like the benefit, I guess, kind of, not really. I shouldn't even say benefit, but like he takes it to to Greymon, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. And then Ty's like, all right, like we gotta, we, like you can do it. Bam, War Greymon, or no, 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 Metal Greymon. And then Charizard starting to get a little mopped up. Uh, like, you know, he's like, I'm like, oh, okay, Charizard, like it's time to, uh, <laughs> it's time to hit the Mega Evolution button or something, right? Turns to Mega Charizard. I'm like, oh, yeah, let, let. still not enough. And on top of that, he still had another evolution. He had War Greymon. War yeah. Greymon dismantled my poor Charizard. I got to see this. Not <laughs> to man. Oh, it's, de it's definitely for you. <laughs> I will tell you, when I say dismantled, I'm not kidding. Death like, Metal's always a good time when you want some uh, dismantling. Like, you've never seen bloody Pokemon, right? <laughs> well, you will today. On Death Battle, yeah. So, yeah, Digimon po versus Pokemon should never be a thing. However, if they want to team up, sure, why not? And Digimon has their own sort of magic carp in the form of Patamon, <laughs> who turns into freaking Angemon and just starts Dude, wasting people. Now that see that like that's another thing. Like I I, I learned that it, through the games, like the mobile games, not like the PlayStation games or anything like that. Like. The, the farther in evolution you go, the more human you become, which is weird. Like, they just become, like, angels and stuff. Like, and that's not that, like, it's it's for literally anybody. I'm like, why did they make all this up? Like, it's like, this mon, that mon, this mon. And then it's like, next it's like, Jesus mon. Like, what? <laughs> oh, like, angel mon, what was his name? Uh, angel woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. angel woman. <laughs> that was a really dumb thing, angel woman. That's all we could think of. Like, that's like, okay, and like and, and that's another thing. Like, it could have been, like, like Seraph mon. Seraph mon? I remember. I wait. What did it look like? No, I'm just saying. Like, could have used another angel variant instead of angel oh, oh, Like, oh. really, dude? There's like a billion other th words you could have used. Well, I never understood why they like. Even as a kid, I was like, man. Like, at least like all these other forms like made sense. Like going from like Agumon to to Greymon. Yeah, because it and looked like it was an evolution. Exactly. It's progress. And you, then you have like weird dog bat pig thing uh -huh. to. Angel. Angel with metal face and six wings. And he was a warrior. And he was, whoo, Lord, just wrecked Devamon. But then when but then when he evolved, he what, what was Angel? I forget Angelmon's evolution. Was it like War Angelmon? I don't even know. I don't o know. Mega Omega Angelmon? Something. Something one mon. He just becomes death. He I have become the destroyer. And he of looked worlds. so sick. I was like, wow, like that's a def that's a linear evolution. And then, then the same thing happened with with uh, the cat one. I forget. Yeah, Gatomon. Gatomon well. turns into Angelomon. Yeah. Like why? So I, I just want to tell you that I literally just watched the end of that death battle. <laughs> yo, yo, not only does Charizard die, but so does Red. <laughs> oh yeah, they yeah. So they they literally took the whole like Pokemon versus Digimon, like literally, like it was like the series versus the series, and then they just had the representative. But then Ty and Agumon probably went out for ice cream. But there was lots of blood, and I watched yeah. Red burn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I find that hilarious. That's yeah. why they make them just for you. They Yes. Yes. If you have not you seen have other di thousands battles. more to watch. Yeah, they, they have some good stuff. There's right. a really good one with the White Ranger and Scorpion. It was like a live action one. I they like did, like, that one was awesome. Yeah. I saw that oh, one. Oh, that's not a death battle. That's uh, that's uh, that's something else. It's It's like. Something power beat down. Super superhero. Oh, super beat power down. beatdowns. Was it super power beatdown? Superhero. Adam in the back. Okay. It Bat was. in the sun made it. Yeah. Bat in the sun. Well, Check him out. Nightwing versus Daredevil was only okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, Adam in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, like, yeah, the whole that one, the Scorpion White Ranger one, that was the only one that they made two endings for because they knew that how popular Tommy was. Yeah, and they're like, ah, okay, we all know that he'll. We don't want to see him die like that, so we'll make the happy ending for the Power Ranger fans, <laughs> and then we'll make the actual ending for all the Mortal Kombat fans. And I was like, man, whatever, man. It's more for time all the time. I was going to ask, did you do a reaction video before they put out the second I, ending? I didn't do a reaction because I was like too I thought, excited. I thought White Ranger did win that one. He Well, he did. Yeah, they both did. That's what I'm saying. They made two okay. variant endings. Yeah, but I thought like the stats showed that the White Ranger won. Oh, I'm sorry. That was okay. So that started a tangent, guys. But that was oh, off God, of a uh, th like the way those work is all community votes. Yeah. Like whoever they want to see win wins. That's how it works. It's not even. 
is not. Yeah, yeah. I think I keep mixing up superpower beatdown and death battle because death battle goes off stats. Superpower beatdown goes yeah, off votes. Exactly. So that that's not a, how the force works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. But yeah, so that's Digimon. I I mean Digimon. I watched it up until like season three, and then I kind of like fell off, and then like a bunch of other stuff happened, like in between, like then and now, and then like I heard that they recently just well not recently but in recent years I should say they they started up bringing they hit the nostalgia button they're like all right we 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 really want people to watch Digimon again so we're gonna go back to the, the season one guys with uh, at the adventure team mm-hmm. and they made Digimon Adventure Try which is like the same protagonists but like towards the end of their high school years which is like kind of cool seeing like them grow up because like unlike pokemon ash is still technically the same age (laughs) and like seeing like ty and the rest of the gang like i thought that was like probably one of the best things Like i love seeing that in any show like growth yeah you know so that happens sometimes literal growth (laughs) yeah like does it grow from small child yeah so it was it it, it, is really cool because the story it seems like pretty dark um for the most part and it's like they spread it out, uh, I think, between like six different parts or movies. Because in Japan, they released them in movies, and then mm-hmm. for like everywhere online, they divided them into like twenty to thirty minute episodes. So like it's pretty, they're pretty cool. They're they're on Crunchyroll, and I don't know where else, but yeah. Before I forget again, when we literally need to develop like a current anime news segment, but did you hear about the election? A very important person was elected. Tell us more. Nathan Johnson, who's a former Dragon Ball Z composer, is elected to Texas State. <laughs> oh, I did see that. I saw That's that. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I didn't click Texas on it. Texas got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Son Goku's going to be in the Macy's Day Parade. Yes. Yeah, Super I Saiyan Blue. That. Super Saiyan Blue Goku is going to be in the Macy's Parade. So check that out on Thanksgiving this year. I'm going to make sure that once because I, I watch with my mom every morning like every year because that's what she's yeah. done ever since she was a kid really so i was like i had a vegeta balloon too but whatever hey we'll get there all right <laughs> one one thing at a time all right because it's gonna be a macy's I would, just I, for dbz i would always look forward to seeing like pikachu and like the red power ranger those have were had pikachu yeah he's, he's okay yeah, have, yeah and then i like i would look forward to those the most and as soon as like they would come out i'd be like yeah i'll pop off right like <laughs> oh whatever like they're talking about it and then and then I'm like, oh, it's uh, it's another performance I don't care about, like from some artist that's whatever. And it's, it's lip singing anyway. <laughs> but this year, oh. <laughs> Mariah Carey. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go. <laughs> that's crazy. No, but you know what? No, yeah, yeah. That, that was a well deserved tangent. Anyway. <laughs> Once go once I see Goku, I'm gonna have my my phone ready. I'm gonna be like this, like just ready to record the TV and my reaction. I'm just gonna be like, it's gonna be like shaking like this, like Goku. All right, he is totally lying. Have you ever crying. watched his reaction videos? Yes, yes. Uh, did you uh, see the last one he did on, on like the intro of the two characters? He's like, oh, 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 and I picture your reaction for this being like the same way. All right, for this for this Goku, he's oh oh the oh the the oh, the oh, 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 oh and I'm like, wow, all right. So I kind of picture you doing the same reaction for like Goku floating down to Macy's Day Parade. Nah, see, I expect to hear you scream crying. Like, ah! <laughs> it's like, nah, nah, nah. I see. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do any of those because those reactions are literally when I have no idea what I'm about to watch, and it's some crazy surprise. This is not a surprise. This could be. I just need some chloroform. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of show, guys. I promise. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely wasn't going in that direction, <laughs> but all right. <laughs> man, that's crazy. But uh, but yeah, no, I'm de- I I will be happy to see my man Goku on the Macy's Day Parade. But uh, yeah, I mean, outside of that, it's, it's just it's gonna come and go. They're probably gonna shout out the new movie that's coming out in January. I'm sure. Which um, one's coming out in January? Broly. I thought that came out. What what came out last? What was it, a couple weeks? The ago? original Broly. Oh. Mm-hmm. I yeah. thought I missed it. I was very upset about it. Well, oh, so wait, were you trying to see the new one? Yeah. Or, oh, yeah, the new one's not out yet. Okay. Japan's getting their first so premiere, that, though, next yeah, week. Yeah, because I thought that, too, and uh, Uji was like, oh, I saw a Broly movie. I'm like, 
Dang it! I wanted to stand there. I missed it again. <laughs> Look, you killed Pikachu. I'm sorry, Pikachu. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll get, we got to get him to a Poke Center. Do, 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 do. I'm Yo. trying to figure out if you used your sword on him or a spirit bomb. <laughs> Maybe Final Flash. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, wait. Pokemon related, though, and as I'm glad you mentioned that Pokemon Center. Did you guys hear ab- or see uh, Hori's new peripheral for the uh, Pokemon Let's Go uh, Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Pokeball Plus? No. Con- okay, so first, they have a controller peripheral called the Pokeball Plus, which is literally a Pokeball, but you can play the entire game with it. And then you can use that device to transfer over Pokemon from Pokemon Go into this game, and I don't know if you can do the reverse, but that's how each integrate with each other. So, Hori, a company that makes a lot of controllers and other types of video game peripherals, they made a Pokemon Go, uh, uh, like a charge stand for the ball that makes it look like it's in the Pokemon Center. What? <laughs> yes. I think I'm going to be buying this. Yeah, and it's only like 20 bucks. Like the 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 charger itself. And I'm like, "Well, this makes me want to buy six of them because it will just Ah, uh, that's cool. You can even get one of those little cardboard cutouts of Nurse Joy and put her behind it." <laughs> <laughs> so, what I Okay, so what what I actually want to do is I actually I actually want to have like some kind of crazy stream where I have five other friends that have the game and have some kind of crazy setup where everyone's connected into like a capture card which goes into some supercomputer that can handle all of the capture cards so that way it's like everyone's playing the game at the same time almost kind of like a speed run thing but then you have it like an overhead view of all like the six balls so it looks like a pokemon like center and y'all are just playing the new Pokemon game, that would be amazing, but I don't have the time or the money or the resources to have such a great idea come to life. I don't have the time. Well, okay. But I have maybe everything else. <laughs> <laughs> you would have to. Can we make this happen? Well, it would. Like I said, it would take for it to for it to work like the way I envision it. It would it would take way too much equipment. Like it would it would take six capture cards. A computer that would have enough, like that would be able to handle all that capture, all those capture devices at the at once, and then mad webcams, overhead webcams, and like you know, people all have like their own microphone and stuff like that. Like it would be such a cool production, but yeah. So for any of you listening or watching, that could be an event. This could be a sponsor <laughs> item. Wink. Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah. you want, you, actually, yeah, if you want to see that happen, like, please let us know. We can set up an event where people would, like, spend money to be a part of it. You know? Not, like, to, to, be, to be practical, like, it would be, like, it'd be weird if it was just, like, people were getting up, like, every, like, however long. Because, like, I would want, like, I would literally want it to be just, like, a marathon. Like, <laughs> six people. Coming to play. Like, I need you to voice this. Six people coming to play. Six po- people coming to play. <laughs> oh, my God. This Pokemon. is the best promo Pokemon. trailer. Let's go, Pikachu. <laughs> Let's go, Pikachu. <laughs> Let's go, Eevee. <laughs> Let's go, Eevee. <laughs> With the Pokeball Plus. <laughs> With the Pokeball Plus. <laughs> and the Hori Peripherals. <laughs> and the Hori Peripherals. <laughs> coming to you soon. <laughs> coming to you soon. From Wild FM. <laughs> From Wild FM. <laughs> Initial Dream. Initial Dream. And Uchi Games. And Uchi Games. Games. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Yes. Put it up on a Twitch stream. People donate some ducats. That's what I'm saying. Like, and that that'd be cool because like one if you do it on Twitch, it'll get crazy. Especially if people are in the chat, they're like throwing just random money at us to like <laughs> <laughs> have a quarter, have a quarter, yeah, have like, a sensu bean button. Let's take a like an <laughs> audio grab from sensu Team Force. Bean button. <laughs> No, it's like an audio grab from Team Four Star. Sensorine! Just like <laughs> randomly pop up in the middle of the stream. For reasons. Jeta. <laughs> Jeta. <laughs> Jeta, Jeta. I'm haunting you. <laughs> so, yeah. We derailed. What were we talking about again? No, we weren't derailing. We, oh, I was okay. on topic. Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu Let's Go, Eevee yeah. coming out in like two weeks. Oh, no. Wait a minute. It's coming out next week. 
that's yep, it's coming out next week. That's crazy. It snuck up on us. Yep, it the the, the I think the game is like normal price, like sixty bucks, and then the the Go Plus ball is I think fifty, which is kind of crazy. Because I mean, it's a ball. It's a wireless controller, and it comes with a Mew too. Mew, Mew. It does come with a Mew. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> so, yep, Mew's a thing. Pokemon's a thing. Pokemon Let's Go, I should say, is a thing. That's a game that not a lot of people were uh, following. Uh, I know a lot of people are, and then some are like kind of just skeptical about it because um, it's not like the next true game. It's kind of like one of people are treating it like as one of those like in between or joke, not take it seriously games. What? But to its to its uh, defense, it is very intuitive for what it is. And yes, it is a re playing of Gen One, like the all of Kanto region and stuff like that. But yeah, like, but you get to play with a pokeball. N- yeah, like <laughs> I you, mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, and like and 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 like when you're about to catch them, you can you do the motion of throwing the ball, just like you would imagine. So in real life, and like this is like the perfect bridge between Go and like playing at home. Like Pokemon Go, you have to like obviously be out and about. Like you yeah. can't just ah. Uh, did you get the new update for what Pokemon Go? Did you guys get it? I mean, I've been playing it. I haven't installed I didn't, it. I didn't notice phone. if it was. Now you can have your phone in, or the game in the background, not running. Okay, it's got to be open, but not running. And you can now hatch eggs. Really? Yes. What? <laughs> so, so, so as long as you, you have, have it, it open. on and it hatches in the, the eggs without yep. setting your phone on fire. Yep. Good. Good to know. Let me just. Uh... <laughs> 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 Let me just make sure I got that update. So yeah, um, but I can't wait to play it. I'm I'm gonna try and grab a copy for myself to stream it at least because I know people are gonna be all over it. There's two coming out, right? Yeah, it's it's uh, the Pikachu version, the Eevee version, but they're the same same game it, with the obvious di- like minor differences. Like oh, I can catch this and you can catch that, but okay. it's all you know. It's it's Kanto. So it's like if you remember how you played red, blue, yellow, fire red, leaf green. Psh, I still got my red save file. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. <clears throat> there I think you I go. got my blue running around somewhere. Just out of curiosity, sorry, everybody, we're having some minor tef- technical difficulties here. Am I still on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Like, may- I, I, I can't. Um. So. I see you got Pokemon Go open. Oh yeah, I'm about to get this stop right here because we're conveniently <laughs> in between two. <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I, I really did. Just I spun the dial. I yeah. saw. Yeah. I, I did witness. <laughs> so you're saying there's two? You have the Eevee and the Pikachu one. Yes. Which one are you getting? Pikachu. Oh, Eevee, man. I mean, I love Pikachu, <laughs> as you can tell. Well, so here's <laughs> the thing: the reason why I'm not getting the Eevee one is because I don't know if this is true or not yet, but the the rumor was that. The Pikachu you would start with in the game, or the Eevee you would start with in Eevee, you can't evolve. What? Yeah. Can't evolve it. You'd have to get like a whole nother one. So I'm just like, oh, okay, there's no point. Because like I would have turned, I, I would have totally turned my Eevee into something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like maybe an Espeon or oh yeah, an Umbreon. Yeah. 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 So, but and and that's another thing. Like, since it is Kanto, like you would probably be limited to just the first three. Ah, uh, oh, Flareon all day long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah like I, uh, I don't, and and, that, and that's a thing. Like people are like kind of hoping and speculating that there will they will add like the other regions afterwards because they're ha- they have the whole integration feature where like you can put some of your Pokemon from Go mm-hmm. into Let's Go. And then catch them in Let's Go, so that way you have them in Let's Go, like to like build your decks up. But like, if it's only Kanto, then you know that's why. Because like right now, Go has four generations worth of Pokemon. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, give it time, because Go <laughs> only started out with like the first generation, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, we'll the see if they steps, if they add it. Because like, but that's another that's another topic of discussion. Like, would you be okay with paying us for like some kind of season pass to then get Johto? Home no, in. man. Then it'll be like Destiny 2. Buy Destiny 2 for sixty five ninety nine, and then here's like 17 my, yeah. more expansion packs <laughs> for $47. Uh, that's another thing we should probably talk about eventually. Like, microtransactions do have a tendency to kind of like... It's the world we live in now. Jack end. up the video, like video game community in general. Because mm-hmm. then you have developers like, 
why do I have to bother making a complete game when I can just nickel and dime people? PUBG. <clears throat> <laughs> I never they played it. They didn't even finish the heard, game. And no, no, it's done now. And it's now. officially done. Now. So I got one for you guys since we're on the, the Mon stuff. Yeah. I want to know because I, I showed a, a friend of mine this uh, two days ago. <clears throat> he didn't like it. Did you guys see Pokemon the movie? I yes. Choose you. The first one? No, I Choose You. I Choose You that came out last year, right? Yes. Man, I'm a, I'm a Pokemon fan to the day I die. Yeah. Of course I liked it. I loved it, as a matter of fact. I did too, That's man. Right. That's right. You know what, Ray? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let them know. A lot of people didn't like it because they're like, oh, this is stupid. And I'm like, well, you still see Misty and Brock in it, but they're just like for a Split, split, split second. I don't know if you Oh, as, uh, oh, like, the gym, the, the gym yep. inter... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Did you see it, Ashley? No. You didn't see it? The only Pokemon movie I've seen was the first one. Uh, oh. <laughs> you never... Wait a minute. So that means you missed out on 2000? Pokemon 2000? Yeah. You missed out on the, 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 the history or whatever the, of the unknown. Like, I'll be honest. The most advanced Pokemon game I've ever played was Pokemon Yellow Pikachu Edition. That why wait 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 that's not advanced that's literally red blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no. <laughs> you're still there. Damn. Like I'm saying, that's as far as I got. You missed out. You missed out on nah. silver and gold. I mean, well, silver and gold were good, but I didn't like think they were great. Now I did have a silver uh, edition for Game Boy because my uncle was a mechanic at the time and somebody left it in a car seat, <laughs> but the save function was broken, so. <laughs> I the save function didn't function, so I could never save the game. So I like played for an hour. I'm like, damn, I get to restart now. Woo! <laughs> you know what you should have done? You should have just like played it, and then all right, I'm done. You just like put it somewhere without turning it off. Yeah, the thing that was a old school Game Boy that took four batteries. Oh, oh I still I yeah. still got three of them: one in yellow, one in black, I and the original. Somewhere I still have my gray brick. My gray brick. The brick. And for whatever oh, reason, whatever that, I possessed me, I put Barbie stickers. All, I hate Barbie, but for whatever reason, I put Barbie stickers all over it. And I don't girl. know why. That's why it's a uh, game girl. That's yeah, it. I get it. It's a game girl. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. This just got brought up in the comments. And actually, this is I'm glad that they mentioned this. All right, what's up? So this is something that I also didn't like about the film. It's the only thing. I bet I know what it is. And I don't have the I comments hated. up. I, I need you to comment on yep, this. Go ahead. Tell it's me. It's because I I care about you. What? No! Pikachu does not talk! Look. What? Look. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's a big spoiler. Sorry. <laughs> that's really dumb because Pikachu is kind of like Groot. All right. I can explain that, actually. Be yeah. And Pika. Pikachu's a girl. Why? I can explain. Because for years, you're just like, you know, Pikachu's a bro. I, <laughs> you I, know? I, I, <laughs> I, I can explain. It. All right, explain. Can explain. Explain away. All right, all right. So look, <clears throat> the reason, or maybe why Pikachu spoke during that little section of the movie, is because. So we all know Ash. He just loves to die in movies. He's the <laughs> no. He actually died in this film, like yeah. dead. No, I mean, <laughs> like, like even if you look at the first movie, like my man turned into no, a just rock. stone. Yeah, but you know <laughs> that was stone. This <laughs> he's one, he dead, vanished. Jim. Might well be dead. <laughs> <laughs> like you might well be dead. He's right? dead, Jim. Like, but that's the thing. Like, so the whole the whole point, like where he was, like it was like that whole big like beam struggle going on and of course he throws himself in the middle just like ash does best to save pikachu or whoever he's trying to save and the whole like i guess theory you can call it is that in between that portion of in time when like he was dead and not dead and like in some kind of weird distortion like kinda. schrodinger's pokeball mm, well no but like he like he it, like the the whole the theory is like when he was in this like weird gray area multiverse parallel thing, mm -hmm. he heard Pikachu speak for a second. However, <laughs> I it, think he was on Snake Way. <laughs> <laughs> he was he, he he like in like if it was anyone out like anyone that was there, they didn't if they would have heard that they wouldn't have actually heard Pikachu speak in English or Japanese for that matter. It would have been like Pikachu's native tongue. It would have been like Pika or something like that. I actually Pika. made a video about but that. It, it does, but it, it, I'm just going to call it it because I don't know what Pikachu is. Well, it's definitely a boy. Don't but, gender Pikachu. But it sounded like a girl. Or and, it could have been a little boy. 
And oh, to, to, to I didn't think of that one. Yeah, see, because to that because they're that both defense, stuck being immortal eleven year olds. A <laughs> thirty-five-year-old guy in a ten-year-old body. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> but to, but That's a lot in of that, creepy the, scenarios. In that, re, in that defense, a lot of uh, young boys' voices are voiced by females all the time. Oh, like Ash. Yeah. Actually, I um, made a whole video about it. And I was like, guys, this is probably how it was, even though it was weird. But now I do understand, though, how you think. Like while he's in between Final Destination and the multiverse, all true. Right, when he's stuck outside the Matrix. <laughs> and he comes back to life, and he can understand Pikachu for a split second. Yeah, that was it. But the thing is, though, is that he was back on the mortal plane. Or he was on the mortal plane before. So it was just Pikachu, you know, running. And then, and then it was like, <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Is it? Pika, 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 Pika. Why, Pikachu? It's because I... Because stop, I... Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and my but that's soul... the voice. That's what's so messed oh. up about it. And my soul has left my body. <laughs> just like ashes. If only tears could bring you back to life. <laughs> right. ah! I'm just going to turn to sound. First movie reference. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, that's... I'll t- take that whole part away, though. The movie was godlike. I loved it. I think the movie itself was great, though. Like, yeah. the, they all right. So we'll put it this way: they elaborate because in the very first episode of Pokemon, we all know Ash yeah. sees a ho All right, yeah. he flies over. I wonder what kind of Pokemon that was. You know, well, oh. this movie, the ho ho actually bestows upon him a feather, the rainbow, the wing. rainbow wing. And if a dark heart touches it, it turns black as night. Yo, <laughs> right? it was, it, they, they gave it like a new story purpose. You know, like, oh, it wasn't just he just saw Ho-Oh. They, like, made the movie, like, kind of focaled around Ho-Oh. Like, because, like, Ash was like, yeah, I want to Explain to me the rainbow him. wing. I'm a noob. I'm not well-versed in the ways of Pokemon lore. That All right, so when the rainbow wing, Ho-Oh chooses who it gives the rainbow wing to. So they can become, what is it, the rainbow warrior, rainbow yeah, champion, something it's like, like that. It's like some crazy, legendary, mythological term that is, like, you are that guy. Okay. All right? Like, you are in the books. The yeah. Book, you know what I'm saying? Like, and yeah. Cross was all angry because he didn't get it, and he only cares about strong Pokemon, you know? So he... Uh, who, wh- but Ash cares about heart. Ash, all right, so I actually got into... A like <laughs> heated discussion with a friend of mine the other day, and how he thinks that Ash is like the worst trainer ever. <laughs> All right? So come to think of it, I th- like I keep thinking about that every time I talk about this. Travis, as a shout out to you. <laughs> so uh, it ends up being like, uh, help, help me out here. That's not Miss Drevis, is it? No, no, not Miss Drevis. Um, oh, who who's the shadow? Uh, shadow. Oh, Pokemon. that that was a seventh generation shout out. That was um. Oh, uh, Marshadow. Marshadow, that's it. So Marshadow is like, I, I'm sorry, I, 100%, I believe that's red. Like the old man. Oh, that's, Yo, that's, that's a theory. That's that, a theory. It's got to be red. That's a theory. So the old man is like, <laughs> oh, Marshadow just is here to observe. And you're like, okay, cool. So he's just going to observe. And then like towards the end of the movie, he just turns into like Super Saiyan 5 Goku. <laughs> All right. Oh, and God. just starts releasing like Hadoukens and... um. Uh, uh, like other random like energy attacks, and I'm like, okay, I thought he was here to watch, and then you know he's just he's supposed to restore the colors of the Rainbow Wing, but it, it, it the movie itself I thought was like it, like great, it was awesome seeing yeah. Ash not with Misty and Brock because we all know that Bra or that Misty and Ash should have been together, which in the manga I don't know if you know this or not, they kind of hint that they hey! got together. You know what I mean? <laughs> and had a kid. What? Yeah. Oh, Poke Kids. Poke Kids. All right. We're getting hyped out here. All right. Go ahead. Continue the oh, story. There's some foul jokes in there. Like you poked her in the No, 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 no. We're not going to go there. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> movie, movie, movie. Um, but the movie, like, I like seeing it from a different perspective. Like, it's Ash, for since you haven't seen it, it's Ash not doing the journey that you already know. Right. You know, so instead of him befriending Brock and Misty, he befriends two other people whose names are eluding me at the moment. Yeah, me too. Um, but he, <clears throat> he he befriends them. One wants to be like a Pokemon 
like, I don't know, doctor almost. Like, like the man version of a Nurse Joy, right? So, like, I don't know. Nurse, nurse boy. Nurse boy or nurse angry. I don't know what you'd call that. But, yeah. and, they, and the, the girl, I don't know. She's, her, her mother is what, the gym she leader? She was like a gym leader, I think, in like Sinnoh or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So, it was neat. Like, she, you know, typical 12-year-old, I hate you. I'm running away from home. And then she leaves and... You know, towards I should probably go see what my mother is up to. Well, yeah, you know, <laughs> you're only ten. So, I mean, altogether, I, th I thought it was real good. Like, I, 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 I had nothing but high, uh, high hopes for it, and I don't know, it, it kind of delivered. It, it was good. You, you, I highly recommend you watching this. The one thing I loved about it the most was we actually got to see Ash truly be a ten-year-old. Like, that was one of my favorite parts of the movie because we all know Ash to be, like, this trainer that he just wants to, you know, he wants to be a Pokemon master. He wants to get all his gym badges. He wants to go to the Elite Four and lose. That's the besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is that he has always had those goals in mind, and that's it. Like, he encounters his friends. He, 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 he befriends, like, all the Pokemon that he encounters, so much so that sometimes... Depending on who they are, aka Butterfree and Pidgeot, he will let them go. Oh right? no, there's more. I'm sure there's no, no, no. I know, I know, there's more. I'm just, just to name a few, right? Just to Bye, name a few. Lapras. Yeah, thanks yeah, for all La your help. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, I'm, okay, okay. Positive, 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 positive. Okay, for the that was kids. A great sound, but I forgot about that. Yeah. Anyway, so in this movie, there's a, there's like a there's like a section where he pulls like any average 10-year-old behavior where he's battling and he loses and he takes the L like the biggest I have ever seen. <laughs> like straight up. Like he's like, he's like, I can't believe you. Like, yeah. And then he just pouts. I should have I should have chosen Charizard. Yeah. And then Pikachu goes, Pika? And you're like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it. Yeah, like he actually, I was like, and then after, like directly after that happens, he has like this whole like epiphany dream thing where he's in like a world that's full of like black and white. And then like he has to find Pikachu and like he has to remember. And then once he remembers, everything goes into color again. And then it's like, oh, then he realizes like, oh, I shouldn't be an ass because my name is Ash. I should, <laughs> I should be like, you know, their friend, like I, friends first, like that. Then it, then it became like, okay, like. He grew up at that point. Yeah, we never see that in re in regular Pokemon. So like, I, I I like that a lot. That they like, I hated it. I was like, I was like, who is this guy? I was like, I was reminded why I I loved Red more, and then I stopped like giving Ash any kind of credit. But then I was like, you know what? The man was a ten year old. For his respect, ten year olds act like that. Yeah, he, he grew up. Bam, saved the day again by uh, almost killing himself and hearing Pikachu talk. So <laughs> it's because I <laughs> Stop! You're doing too good. You're doing too good. <laughs> I need to know the line. I can't believe somebody you watching literally said it. has oh, to God. know the it's line. It's because I always want to be with you. That's literally what she said. He 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 I want to know what love is. Hey Ryan. Yeah. Don't say it. No, that's a, a reverse it's, ding. It, it, <laughs> that's a swap. That's a, a dunk. So you know what? I got a subject that we should touch bases on that uh -oh. everybody can get involved in. Oh, oh let's go. Let's go. So mm. there are no, or I should say no, very limited amount of adults in the Pokemon franchise. Mm -hmm. Ash's dad... We already know is a theory that we can get into later. It okay. might be Giovanni or Professor Oak, because Ash's mom spends way <laughs> too much time at Professor Oak's house. Okay, <laughs> and Giovanni is just you know, I want Pikachu, and I'm sick of waiting. Um, that's so crazy. that's crazy. Uh, but there's no like, there, there's not a lot of adults in there. Uh huh. And uh, the theory is that there was a big Pokemon war. So that's that was the big like thing online. Mm -hmm. Is everybody's like, oh, there had to have been a Pokemon war. So I was watching a bunch of stuff, trying to get some research together here, and I came across something where they're talking about Lieutenant Surge. Yes. Actually. Yes. So he's a lieutenant in the army. Yes. And there is no army. He's all that's left. Where is the army? He's like the only like 35-year-old trapped in a 35-year-old's body. You know, Guile, 
is what he looks like. <laughs> Sonic <you know>? Boom. <laughs> but he's the only one. So and and he says something about like he mentions in, in one of the episodes uh, about being like being in a war. But then, you know, everybody's like, oh, there must have been a Pokemon war. There must have been a Pokemon war. And then as I was just telling you, I was watching Pokemon Generations and there actually was a Pokemon war. Oh, like damn. AZ is like 3,009,486 years <laughs> old. Like, well, no, in, in Generations, he says, you know, I, the 3,000 or 3,000 year wait is over or something like that. Mm. But it shows the war. So finally, 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 they're like they finally said yes. There's a war. Here it is. And in generations, that short four or five minute segment, you yeah. get to see a slight thing about it. So what do you feel about the war? The war, man. You want to talk about the war? Actually, ready for this? Sure. I don't, I don't think she's ready for this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Look. This theory has probably been one of my favorite theories of all time. Because Pokemon theories are definitely, like, those are topics that you could talk to your friends or anyone that may not even know about them for hours on end. And then you, the more you talk about it, the more you realize, like, was Pokemon even made for kids? Because let me tell you something, when we're this young, okay... We're, we're, we're freaking still having, like, Lunchables for lunch and all that stuff, I okay? I still have Lunchables. Don't judge me. Look, I would love some Lunchables. I'm just jealous, okay, of these oh, little so kids. Delicious. Freaking punks. Anyway. <laughs> why, why do you got to be, like, old, like young to eat a Lunchable? Dude, I just said I was jealous that I wish I could have Lunchables, Lunchables sponsor too. us so we can have dinner. The Lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, right? So as you're, as you're, like, in your youth, like, you don't really, like, pay attention to a lot of that kind of stuff. So it's only when, like, we're this old and we're grown up and we like have the time to like see the dialogue and like understand it in a different context we're like wow like there's so much more to pokemon than we realize and the war is one of those things that they've just kind of just like swept under the rug low key because like they've mentioned it subtly in like the text of the game and like you can even like i think like Depending on which games you play and where you go, there's actually some some rooms and libraries that you can access that if you go to like any of the books and just like hit A, you can just read stuff about like what has happened in the past of Pokemon. Right, right. And like the war is like one of those things where like no one knows and no one knows what happened and they think they, they theorize that it's part of the reason why Kanto and like just the the way the Pokemon world is shaped and structured is because some crazy stuff happened during this war. That that was another theory that I saw that uh uh Ash is from Indigo, correct? Uh Indigo uh well Kanto. Or Kanto. Kanto. Uh, Indigo what's Plateau the... is what's N name all of them so I can refresh my memory. It's Kanto, it's Johto, is Hoenn, is Sinnoh, uh Nova. Johto. Okay. So the, the 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 video or the theory I saw is that actually Kanto was Japan. <laughs> Yes. And that um, the other one is America. So, uh, yes. like, the, 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 no, there's this huge theory yeah, about yeah, this yeah. that, yeah. like, that was the whole point. And the reason why, like, you capture Pokemon, because the theory states that back then Pokemon were friends and they, they even hinted at Pokemon actually dating humans because Pokemon were <laughs> considered equal. Yes. Oh, yes. They were considered equal. So hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't feel about that. I don't, I don't feel a certain way either. That. Well, look at Stop. AZ. Think about AZ with his little, what is it, flower? Oh, my Yo, that dude that was God. crying. He killed everybody with his machine. Like, you know what I mean? Because he lost his flower or whatever it's called. Yeah, is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah. Sure. yeah. So, so um, what they said or what they're theorizing is that Pokeballs didn't exist until after the war. Um, and, you know, it turns them into digital blah, 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 blah. We all know what happens in a Pokeball. But then they were saying that the reason that the trainers still battle is kind of like a, a way to, 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 to keep the whole, like, attack kind of fresh in everybody's mind. Just, just in case there's another war, they're, they're trained for it. Dun, 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 dun. Do you see? Pokemon was not meant for kids. Game Freak knew what they were doing. They're just playing stupid. Yeah, but you said Pokemon is a children's cartoon. Actually, that's not entirely true. It's definitely not. Because I was shown yesterday by a friend of mine. He's like, did you ever see Clefable or Clefairy? I'm like, yeah, Clefairy. I'm like, well, no, no, Clefairy was actually supposed to be in place of Pikachu. But Clefairy didn't blow up. Pikachu did. But in the comic or in the manga, 
Clefairy is a little raunchy. Ta- oh. Ash is talking. You see him pull out his little weenus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Yes, and take a leak. I will pull this up. Hold on. <laughs> well, you see that stuff in Dragon Ball all the time. Like, Goku's always letting his little... little... Oh, that's in Dragon Ball, though. They didn't do that in Z, man. He, I don't want to see those Dragon Balls. Well, they had that in Z as well with Gohan. Okay, like... Gohan. Again, yeah. another another child. Like, that's okay. Like Ash is 11. He's been 11 for 30 Boom. years. <laughs> Look at the final frame. What? <laughs> Yo, what is... <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you that, that don't know what we're doing, I've actually just pulled up the manga picture. No, no, no. Clef Fable did. She freaking Or Clefairy, whatever it is. It tucked it out like just like like it was a pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's where she keeps her microphone. And the fu- well, here's the funny part about. It. Oh, that's Jigglypuff. <laughs> oh wait, yep. Cover, Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Ray. You saved us. You saved us. You, th- you saved us. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Wow. That almost happened. That almost. That almost happened. <laughs> you get the quarter dig too. <laughs> <laughs> that it literally almost happened. I cannot believe. Oh man. Anyway, theory of the war, yeah, is real. That, I think I know why people went with Pikachu, not Clefable. <laughs> and we probably focused on Pikachu. I'm like, well, we can't. So have wait that. a minute. You're saying because of that part of the manga, that's why Pikachu was the more popular one. No, 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 no. I just wanted to show you how adult <laughs> the manga is. But uh, from what I understood, from the way it was explained to me, uh, is that Clefairy was supposed to be the main starter. And I found out there was actually a trainer. Mm-hmm. In the games, before red, before blue, before yellow, or before green, it was yellow, and it was a girl. Yes. I didn't know about that either until just a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. So th- there's, like, more more to this than we know. It's just, it, it's <clears throat> it's odd. Right, yeah. So from my understanding, I hope this is right, the games came first, and then the manga happened. Yeah. And the manga is based off of the game for the most yeah for the most part and then the anime is its own adaptation away from the game obviously you can you know relate ash to red and all that kind of stuff but red i feel like people would have appreciated red story a lot more than ashes because if if for those that don't know okay for those that have not seen like anything about the manga like i will just say this ash is the guy that will lose in an Elite Four, who will pass up on trying to catch legendary Pokemon, and that will let go of his Pokemon. Red, on the other hand, will catch legendary Pokemons and will pretty much win, you know, just about whatever he... I mean, he had a... I remember one part of the manga... Have you read all the manga? No, I, I've read a decent amount about it. But okay, not, like, I haven't, I haven't read much either, but do you remember the one part? I thought it was so cool, like, when... And, oh, he, does, he starts with a polywag, right? Yes, in, in the first one. I have the first yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm referring to. He So in the SSN, when he's literally on the brink of death, his Poliwhirl, like, just evolves into Poliwrath, or or was it Poliwag into Poliwhirl? I forget. But, like, it evolved, jumped in the water, saved them, brought them out, and then they had, like, some crazy, like, battle against Team Rocket, which I think Koga was there for. And I was like, what? Koga's in Team Rocket? I forgot about that. Did, but uh, what I've also found out since you're talking about Ash is that he never beat red. Elite Four. I don't. He's never. But red he, is the red did exactly. So that's what did I'm saying. blue. That's what I'm saying. Red and red and blue have been champions or whatever, and Ash has never won a that single. That doesn't league. make any sense to me though. Like somebody help me out with this. Like how, why are we watching about Ash then? That's what I'm saying because okay, like I feel like the writers behind the uh the anime adaptation of pokemon feel like if they have ash win that they can't like do anything else afterwards like oh he's a champion now now what like no like the point of having multiple like you know regions is oh he always goes to the next one anyway to try and get all those gyms and the and the league and all that stuff so but what doesn't make any sense about that is i i just started watching sun and moon which mm-hmm. i was like all right it's it's on. Let me check it out. 
And I'm like, all right. Which, by the way, uh, for those of you that don't know, Ryan over here is actually a main character in Sun and Moon. Yeah, dude, they owe me royalties. <laughs> As I was watching it, I was I mean, sending pictures of the t- to him on the TV crazy, screen. Dude. But, like, I didn't like it. It doesn't make any sense. Or You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those little Pikachu projects that they did in the beginning <laughs> from, like, the, yeah. the, the, the islands. Remember yeah. that? And, oh, the Orange Islands? Uh, no, with, like, sl- when you first see Slow King, uh, Tropical Islands. Uh, oh, the, from those. the movie? Uh, well, I'm thinking about the cards now. <laughs> oh. So, like, it reminds me of, like, one of those small, like, spinoffs. And I'm just like, eh, this theme song doesn't feel like Pokemon. <laughs> you know, it, it's like... <laughs> you, you hear the first one, and you're like, I want to be the very best. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you hear this one, it's like, ding, 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 ding. All right, I don't want to watch this. A lot of them are like that, though, the, the songs that it is. Um, but yeah, it is It is, it is like, if, if, if for whatever reason, Sun and Moon is your first anime to watch out of all of the other series or uh, seasons that they've had for Pokemon, that's like a weird one to start with because it's not like... It's, it, it is the first to be to, to stray away from its traditional like um, flow of like you know you gotta go through all the the towns or whatever get the badges to then go to the elite four and challenge for the championship blah blah blah. Except in this one, it's there's trials and there's like however many trials like four trials or something like that, and then there's an elite four. So you have to like go through all the trials and like the islands and stuff like that, and then you have similar like you you know you have like they're like kind of like gym battles, but not really because sometimes you'll have to face like what they call totem Pokemon, which is just like an extremely bigger version of whatever Pokemon. And not a lot of people were fond of it. They were kind of like, oh, this isn't like what I'm used to. But that was, I mean, that was their attempt at trying something different for. The whole Hawaii theme and Alola and all that kind of stuff. So it's because I, because I always want to be with you. (laughs) I had to find the right line. (laughs) God. Yeah. So, um, Sun and Moon, I haven't watched in a while. I think I left off on episode like 32 or something like that. It was like kind of, it was kind of slow. I was only trying to watch it just for the sake of like, being like current with it because i haven't been up to date or current with any of the pokemon seasons in such a long time i actually almost did back in gen 5 when they announced that ash was gonna get his charizard back because oh man of course that was a marketing stunt i would they made japan made that such a big deal that they had so much promotional stuff and marketing like 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 merchandise, they merchandised the crap out of it. It was like a holiday. <laughs> Charizard is coming back, and they had wallets, they had like ties, they had buttons, they had shirts, they had everything for Charizard. Lizardon, the return. <laughs> Lizardon, yeah. it's morphin' time. <laughs> oh God! Don't don't do that. Don't don't <laughs> don't, don't don't do that. Lizardon. That, that's oh man. Whew. Was, You're gonna make him transform. I felt the chill. <laughs> I never thought of it like that. <laughs> oh good lord. Oh man. Wow. That just happened. All right. Well, yeah. Uh yeah, it was a big deal. And then uh Charizard came back. I saw the episode and it was like really hype. I was like, oh my god, like they made it such a big deal. Like, like, like they're like, oh, like you guys like they had an episode that built up to it. They're like, it was like someone, and then there was like a whole thing of like Charmander or whatever. Char- and then and then, oh, yeah, it was like Ash was like talking to like his one Pokemon, I think. And he was like, oh, like we had a Charizard on the team like back in the day. And then, and then he, I let him go. Well, <laughs> nah, I, I, I wouldn't consider it letting go because, you know, he could always access his Charizard. This is in Charizard Valley, you know, he just like he didn't get enough badges to be able to like make the Charizard listen to him. Oh, he did after a while. Though. Yeah, yeah. But what about uh, having a brain fart? What's the one Pokemon he just like left at the funny farm and never came back for? Mr. Mime. No, no, Mr. Mime stays in his house. Right, with his mom. Which I think is his mom's new boyfriend, by the way. Oh. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 my. Re- oh, sweetheart, you're home early. <laughs> That's why he's wearing gloves. <laughs> I think I've broken Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, that was crazy. <sighs> but, yeah, um... What else, as far as like 
there's like other theories too that I really um oh well actually um I guess this is also a theory, but have you guys ever realized that there are like Pokemon that like when they evolve it just doesn't make sense? All like the- like at all. That's like my thing with a lot of later generations of Pokemon. I'm like that literally looks like a garbage bag. Okay, no no no. See that in theory makes sense because it's it's like it's like trash going into bigger trash. You talking about Garbodor? Yeah, that Garbodor. Garbodor. Well, you Garbodor. know what's sad? I was just making something up, but there was a Pokemon for it. That's what, like like at first, like with the first generation and going on, I'm like all right, those kind of look like animals. And then it gets to the point where they clearly ran out of ideas, drugs or both, and it just <laughs> both. And they just throwing stuff at the wall to see what works. It's like we need like a hundred new Pokemon. What are you on, bro? Hey, man, you got another rare candy. I need that. I need it now. (laughs) Oh, I was just notified that it was Primate. That he just like says, "Hey man, here's the funny farm. I'll come pick you up." And like it's like oh a dog you never God, chop he off. Well, Prime Ape too. <laughs> <laughs> well, Prime Ape probably smelled really bad. Nah, son, I had the oh my, I had the VHS tape. I went, oh my. You know, as a kid, I always thought that if I would if I would watch it on like a different day at a different point in time, like something different would happen. I just thought I was just like I just had this stupid hope. I was like, oh, he'll get Prime Ape again, right? No, he left him at the funny farm. It's it, it's like the dog you don't want anymore because it has fleas and you can't keep up with it. So you trap what it is off like in the kennel. What's like the Pokemon you want to get caught just to fill your Pokedex? And you're like, I don't actually want this. Well, he like, shut, like <laughs> and then oh you just go God. back and start polishing your sand shrew. <laughs> See, this is this is not good because now I'm starting to remember why I hate. He could just fell out. <laughs> My man literally let go. He got primate day one. What does he do by the end of the episode? See ya. <laughs> Who never, does that? I've never Ash actually used. Him. I've never actually used primate. Oh, we gotta We gotta change his name. Uh, no, no, you're a- right. Ash, 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 Ash <laughs> release him. Ash catch him and release. <laughs> That's the, he well. That's the thing. He never. He he was never meant to catch them all. That was just the, the catchphrase of the show. He he only wants to. He only wants to be a Pokemon master. So I guess with with from. Yeah, but how are you a Poke? Oh, he's like Cross from the movie. It's too weak. I had to get rid of him. Nah, he's just. They. I don't know, man. Those Sometimes writers. Sometimes Ash wouldn't know a strong Pokemon if it slapped him in the face. Oh well, yeah, well, he did. Charizard. He said. Hur! And then boom, or burned them, or they had a lucky. very funny relationship. Those two, as a, you know, what's crazy? No, I will, I will say this: when Ash may a, has made some very stupid decisions in the past, <laughs> but there was an episode that I literally randomly watched back in high school that was on TV. It was like on some other branch network channel that I think it was like related to Cartoon Network or something. Mm-hmm. Cartoon Network adjacent. <laughs> yeah, and um. He, for some we- whatever reason, he just has this encounter with Ar- Articuno, right? For no reason. Like, it's just like there's there's a bunch of stuff going on, and then Articuno was just around in town, just chilling, yeah. right? Like, what's up, bro? And he's like, Articuno, like, I want to battle you. Who, who, who are you going to battle with? He calls up Charizard. Bam. I was like, okay, at least he knows when it's time to throw down. And Charizard handled Articuno. Isn't Articuno? Yes, it's a legendary type? Pokemon, and yeah, it's no. an ice type. How does that work? Ah, <sighs> fire! <laughs> just like that. All right, sorry. I'm just thinking like ice type as water type, and then fire wouldn't do so well. But ice is weak against fire. In your defense, I used to get confused about the same thing when I was younger because I was like, "Oh, like ice is just frozen water, but it is the fire that makes it melt." Which is okay. What makes so it I was weak. all right. Yeah, so you're right though. But yeah, it's it, it's it's tight. You know what? Uh, there's a lot of typings that I still don't know. Like I obviously know like fire is strong against leaf, mm-hmm. and then for whatever reason, leaf is strong against water, just because they wanted to do the triangle effect, and then yeah. water is strong uh, against the like whole rock, fire. Paper, scissors. Yeah. Well, I guess you could say that leaf drinks water. It absorbs it. Yeah. Oh, whack! I never said it was good. <laughs> <laughs> you get a quarter tap. Yeah. <laughs> But well, how's that? So- do you guys remember the song? The easiest way to remember it would be the old song. Uh, I'm I'm suddenly scared. Which song? I'm trying to remember. For the typings? Uh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. For the type. Uh, I'm, the only thing I can remember is Dratini comes first if you choose Dragon, but Evolution's the solution if you're going to win. I've never uh, heard that no, song. No, it's not that song. It's, it's the other one. Um, 
Oh, I can't that's, remember. That sounds like a cult it's, saying. It's from the old To Be a Master soundtrack, bro. To be a master, a Pokemon master. No, I don't remember the, the lyrics to that. Besides that chorus line, that's it. What was the name of the song? It's, to, it, to be a master. It, no, the whole CD is To Be a Master. So I ha- while she's looking that up, I have a list for you. So apparently the first thing you let's go is... There's a list? Oh, yeah. Butterfree. Of course. The next one is Primate. And then Pidgeot. I was so tight when he let go Pidgeot. Oh my god. <laughs> I was when I when I when I saw what a Pidgeot was, like when I was playing the games and the guidebooks and all that stuff, I was like, I can't wait for Ash to evolve Pidgeotto. And what does he do? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, they don't have a leader. The Pidgeys and the Pidgeotos, they have to fight the Fearow and the Spiro. So he, they have to have a lead. Why can't any of the other Pidgeotos evolve then? <laughs> Why you gotta let them go? Because they don't have a trainer, bro. Like, come, come on, on now. <laughs> Stupid. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, so then we have Lapras. Oh, my God. Which, ironically enough, in the picture, it shows him <laughs> floating off into the sunset. <laughs> uh Charizard. Yeah, that's which we knew about. Yeah. Squirtle. <gasps> oh. Squirtle, Squirtle. Squirtle. Wait, okay, no, wait. Boy. That's another one that's kind of like iffy because he just let Squirtle go with Officer Jenny and the Squirtle Squad. So there was a time where he they Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. Squirtle came back. I remember that. So just like Charizard. Next. And then you have Larvitar. He had a Larvitar? I guess so. It says here, episode release in Mother of All Battles. What is wrong with this guy? Can Uh, someone explain (laughs) to me this? (laughs) And then the eighth and final Pokemon. So he gave away an entire team. (laughs) 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 Plus two. And a Gudra. He... Wait a minute. Gudra was... It says... Oh, wait, wait. There's an addition at the bottom of this list. It says, please note... Haunter was excluded because Ash bonded so little with it in its two episodes that releasing it had no significance. If he but, wasn't such a punk trainer. Oh, and, oh, I'm sorry. There was apparently 10. So the Haunter and the Gleesizer, which was excluded because it oh, returned shortly after. Yeah, Glyscore. I, I, I never know what that is. Oh, I forgot <laughs> he had a Glyscore. Wow. Oh, and then it says Apom was traded and while still eventually released, was not under Ash's ownership at the time. So that's 11. So he had 11 Pokemon that he had let go. Nearly two teams worth of Pokemon he just let go. And Butterfree technically was released twice. What do you, you mean? You had to watch it on the original oh series, God, and then you had it. to watch it in the movie. Oh, I guess. Well, no, I, you would have been right if, even if you just went with just the anime itself because, remember, he <laughs> traded it, and he's like, oh, I want it back now. He traded yeah. for Eradicate. And then, he, oh, man, he was like, oh, yeah, trading, fun. And then luckily, he, that, that, that guy was nice enough to give it back to him. He probably did what we did back in the day. Uh, you remember that with the old brick Game Boy and a link cable? Like, hey, man, I got a link cable. You want to trade for something? Yeah, yeah, all right. Oh, man, I actually traded you my Charizard, bro. Can you trade it back? No, man, it's mine now. Come on, man. I didn't mean to trade you my Charizard. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> All right, so we have a request for more cowbell. Well, we had so we we have we had so so things of certain significance have to take have to, place yeah. <laughs> in order for the for the bell to ring. Like if someone says something really good or smart, even in the comments, you get a bell. If someone is 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 so like, what the heck? Then you get a you get a dud, not a ding. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, dud. so this is the dud. That's it. And then that's the bell. There's the ding. You can. You can tell the two, tell between the two. So yeah. Ah, uh, Pokemon. Are we taking a break? I found the song. I think. Deep inside. I didn't realize what a Pokemon, kind of Pokemon came. What Pokemon are you? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Pokemon came out with a killer R and B hit. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, listen. You hey, want to hey, talk hey. about hits? Yeah, because the last time I checked, uh, who was it? Was it NSYNC or Backstreet Boys that were on the, the Pokemon the movie soundtrack? Dude, this they had all oh, big names yeah, on there. This man. honestly sounds like my bosses, the 4th MDs, did this song. 
They had a... Thunderbolt's a great electric attack. Don't get ground out by a Marowak. <laughs> that's, that's, Bars! That's, that's, that's a song. That's I forgot song. how absolutely terrible Pokemon music is. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, did you yeah, forget, yeah, yeah. Did you forget the Poke Rap? I try to. Electro, Diglett, Nidoran, Mankey, Venus, Rattata, Fearo, Pidgey, Seeky. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> There's the bell. <laughs> that was literally one of my favorite things to rap. Yeah, like back in the day, you know. You only got a little segment at the end of each thing, you know. Who's that Pokemon? Unless you had the tape. The tape was the full thing. Oh, see, I didn't, All I didn't the, have tapes. the tape. You didn't have any of the tapes? No. I'm surprised. I recorded it off Kids WB. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah. Oh, the Misty song. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, wait. Did you guys see the uh, the play that they had on, like, Broadway back in the day? They had a Pokemon Broadway no. play, and it featured Mew 3. What? <laughs> and you know what's crazy? To this day... I still don't know what it looks like because my grandma bought us the seats that here is here's the stage. Right? Here's for everyone to see. Here's the stage. We were here <laughs> on the corner. We literally saw probably like this half of that stage and I was just like I can't see. I am only 7 and I'm short. And <laughs> yeah. It but was yeah. a Broadway show? It was a Broadway show, and, like, in that show, like, Misty actually expressed her love for Ash. Like, Whoa. secretly, though. I don't know. I don't remember if, 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 if there was a thing at the end, but she sang a song. She was like, oh, Ash, uh, blah, blah, blah. That's, that's, the, that's the song we were just talking about probably, on that soundtrack. So, yeah. It's I mean, her confessing her love to mm -hmm. Ash. Gosh. Yeah. I have to admit, the song's got a really good beat to it. Look, it might be about Pokemon, and it was like making sure you oh, understand your Pokemon. Actually, Ashley, I got something for you. Have you ever heard the Christmas Bash? Oh God, that Ray. Have you heard the Christmas Bash? No. Holy oh God, yo, that Pokemon song is one of my favorite. I'll play that in the summer. I don't <laughs> care. I will play that. I'll blast it. It is such a great song. Like it knocks. Oh my God, I can't. I can't. I... On a scale of one to even, where are you? Not. You uh, uh, oh, can't. Wait. Ah, uh, you get a thud for not remembering. Man. <laughs> well deserved. Oh my God. So much, so much pokey greatness. <laughs> it's a Team Rockets rocking. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I want Pikachu, and yeah. I'm sick of waiting. And this time, don't screw it up. Woo! <laughs> he hit it on the net. Like I could literally hear the CD, and that's exactly <laughs> it's exactly what they said too. And like, then, did you don't you don't know that song? Prepare for trouble. <laughs> Make it double. No. Yeah, yeah. To protect we'll the world the from devastation of all time. <laughs> Creators oh of a grand design. I'll be the king. Come on, you gotta play that. I'll be the Wait, queen. Which one? And I'll be the Joker of crime. <laughs> that is a banger. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Yeah. Uh. You know we can't deny it. <laughs> we can cause a riot. <laughs> Ooh, a riot. What? What? Team what? Rockets rocking. Dude, dude, James is low key Scooby Doo. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> Zoinks, Jesse. <laughs> oh my god. Why James, do you want another Scooby snack? <laughs> Yo, they why haven't that Is it called no, Team Rockets Rockin'? Yes. Team Rockets Rockin', yep. God. Here, go to break. Just go to go to break so they can hear it. Oh yeah. Ladies right, and gentlemen. So we're going to go to a break so we can listen to more nerdy Pokemon music. Pokemans! Pokemon! Yeah. We'll be back after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> Bleep! <laughs> Wait, before you actually guess who I was supposed to be, 
Do you know that they actually had a huge botch on TV where they were like, who's that Pokemon? And it was clearly a Surviper, right? And they're like, who, like... Who, like, which one of these Pokemon evolves into, or evolves from, whatever, into the Viper? And, then like, they come back from the commercial. It's like, if you chose Arbok, you were right. <laughs> Charbok! Dude, that actually happened on TV. And, like, that, I saw that on Twitter the other day. I was like, what? That happened? It was crazy. Like, that's actually funny as hell. Who that is... Thing. Where does the Viper really come I'm like, from? yo, can I get that person's job so we can accurately, <laughs> like, you know? What does Pikachu evolve into? Omastar! <laughs> you are right! <laughs> All right, so... The most extreme. <laughs> someone explains the Viper to me. I didn't know that one. So, Oh, no. So Viper's just like a third-gen snake. Oh, okay. It has nothing to do with our <laughs> pocket at all. It's a snake. I kind of figured. It's a snake. Like, they literally... <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they don't evolve. Like, Arbok does not look anything like the Viper. Whatsoever, even if you mega evolved Arbok, no, like okay, there's some Pokemon that this is actually a good topic to talk about. There are some Pokemon that even when like now, I will be like, you know what, like there has to be some kind of way that they evolve into said Pokemon. Like maybe some interesting bit of crossbreeding at like the. No, not even that, but like, like check this out. Ready? I always thought that Firo always evolved into Oho. -Oh. After I saw that. The first episode, when we see Ho-Oh, we don't even know that's Ho-Oh. I thought that was like a really shiny Firo. Ah! And then I learned that in season, once they got to Johto and like that's who Ash saw, I was like, wait a minute. So Ho-Oh was there the whole time since episode <laughs> one? Biggest, oh my, biggest mind-blowing moment I've ever had in my whole entire life. That's the first one. Then when we saw, when we meet Entei, I'm like, why can't Arcanine evolve into Entei? I was like, they, they, they almost look like, like Entei looks like Mega Arcanine. <laughs> <laughs> like, why not? <laughs> this isn't Digimon. <laughs> okay, I, <laughs> Arcanine Digivolve too. Dit, 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 Digimon. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know what? You know, I, I, I got something to tell you. Okay, what's up? Lavender Town. Ooh. Wait, more theories? No, m another theory. Another theory. Another okay. theory. Do you guys know about the theory about Lavender Town? I, uh, yes, I do. Do you? Is it the one we discussed on break? <laughs> <sighs> She's giving away our radio secrets. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I dirt. <laughs> like, Ashley, you broke it. <laughs> so they're sorry. saying, I'm, I'm Paul. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Come on. <laughs> so they're saying that uh, Lavender Town is actually set up to kind of sort of mimic uh, Arlington Cemetery, like the way they did it. Because all right, you look at Arlington, Arlington Cemetery, there's a, you have rows of graves for soldiers that served in multiple wars, died with honor. So the theory behind it is that Lavender Town is actually like an Arlington Cemetery from the Pokemon War. Yo, Ray, I got a question for you concerning this war. Yes. All right. <clears throat> it just occurred to me that... So, the whole point behind... Or one of the points, I should say, about uh, behind Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, aside from the whole like Pokemon Go stuff, is to just simply let this be the soft core game to just give to people, and they play and have <laughs> a nice time, right? <laughs> but they already confirmed 2019 will be the next core... Pokemon game and everyone's hope is that this is like a dark and gritty Pokemon game my question would you like to see them actually like go back and explain it and do a Pokemon yes. war game oh yes. like that like that uh, even the anime series would be cool like think about that yes. if you got an yes. origins explanation where you follow we'll say someone's father Somebody doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, in this era leading up to the Pokemon War, like that's awesome. And you want to? Oh, by the way, sorry, I had to, Squirrel. All right, I just got this. Uh, you, here's another one for you too. How's about uh, God and the Devil? You, you, oh, you know with, about uh, with Arceus, uh, Arceus and Giratina. Yes. yes. How they? Uh, I, I just saw this the other day actually about them saying that uh, Satan, you know, Lucifer was a fallen angel. 
blah, blah, blah. Well, Giratina was supposed to be up there with the uh, Arceus. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, oh yeah. Arceus. Okay. And got cast out. Cast down to earth, and now Giratina is actually the devil. See? Pokemon and- <laughs> ain't for kids. Pokemon, listen, or whatever you're called now, Nintendo or Game Freak or <laughs> well, whoever Freak whoever owns you, if you're listening, all right? I want to see the war. I want to see the war. I want to see why Pikachu's eyes are black and wide and constantly staring off into space from the PTSD from, from the Pokemon War. <laughs> <laughs> but so wait, so all right, so now I'm trying to like piece all the theories kind of especially with the war together a little bit because I think if you if we reference the games um because Lieutenant Surge was a part of the war. So that yes. means that the war took place right before like not maybe not right before but like yeah, you know what kind of actually now that I think about it because the events that had take place in the game is like after the remains of the war happened. Like it was done see, already. See, that's what doesn't make any sense though. Did you see the Pokemon Generations? Well, see, yeah, Generations covers it was like a it was like an older war. Like yeah. it was like a Pokemon war or something like well, that. Well, th- that's just it cuz then yeah. AZ like he literally says 3000 years. Like he makes it sound like he's 3000 years old. Oh yeah, no, he definitely. So if he is in fact that old, yeah. Okay, then w- like where that era is like, <laughs> so, like come on, <laughs> you know, yeah. 3000 years ago? Come yeah. on. That's a long time. That's what I want to know about. Well, yeah, that's yeah, like that that war for sure, but the the war that set up red and blue, like those games. Because like you have to think about it. Like they have the cemetery, Lieutenant Surge has the experience, like he has like those like imagine if we just got a Lieutenant Surge backstory. That he because if he was in it, you know, because like we don't know exactly when it happened, but then at the same time, like if you even if you were like if you were to say that Pokemon four, like the movie was like any kind of canon Oak was the kid that Ash was with the entire time. And he, like, because he went back in time because of the Celebi. And there was no, I don't think there was a war going on or anything like that. So it was like, that's why it's all over the place. It's very, it's very messy. Well, that, that, that's what someone else is explaining, too, is that there are so many different universes to Pokemon. Oh, well, that, yeah, like, yeah, it, yeah. Some might be happening at the same time as Ash. You know, Red and Blue could have been, like, 100 years prior to Ash. Like, you know, no, okay. nobody knows. Yeah. But I'm sorry, that's definitely red in the movie. I don't care. look, look, look. <laughs> one of my, all my, my probably this is probably the, the my most favorite thing about the games, especially, is that once. So for those that don't know, there's like a bunch of Pokemon games on handheld from Game Boy all the way to the DS, 3DS too, right? And like after a certain amount of years or certain games, like they started to make remade versions. So like after generation. Generation three, they came out with Fire Red and Leaf Green yeah. to remake Red and Blue and Yellow, I guess, right? And then after those games, we finally got Gen Four, which was Diamond and Pearl. Um, and then once those came out, we got remakes of Silver and Gold, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, right? And so by the time we got to the third gen remakes, which was Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They actually canonically made it a part of the story to include even the originals versus the remakes. And they said it, they incorporated in the story and they were like, we can't let this like asteroid, we can't send it off into space because what if it goes into another universe and destroys a world that doesn't have mega evolution? I was like, mind blown because i was like wow so what they're referring to is they don't want those asteroids to go and hit red and blue and like silver and gold because there's no mega evolution in those games oh baby red and blue with your baby pokemans <laughs> like i i, I your like animal based pokemans when you make that connection you're just like holy crap they're literally like everything's canon every all the games all of them no matter if they made remakes it's like it's just it's just like you said it's just multiverse multiverse pokemon is life so, so here you go, here you go. <laughs> if Pokemon is life, if you lived in the era where Pokemon were equal to humans and you got to date one, which one would it be? None. <laughs> Absolutely none of them. But it's because... No! <laughs> I knew he was trying to segue into that! <laughs> I knew he was trying to... I knew what he was doing. As soon as he had that face on, I was like, here we go. 
It was like you see Keenan and Kel. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> Who loves orange soda? I I, I actually love orange soda. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan loves orange soda. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> so. I know so, it's my destiny. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, I, we have all this Pokemon stuff in front of us. Uh-oh. Did I just move that camera? I, I might have. You're fine. You're still in the shot. So, Ryan, since you're like the 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 known game guy, I'm like kind of the hidden game guy. I don't own a comic store anymore, so nobody knows who I am anymore. <laughs> you want to tell people what I brought here in front of us? Ah, so Ray uh, was so nice enough to... Are these all your props, yes. by the way? Okay, so he, he was so nice to bring us a, a little set here uh, to stay uh, in intact with... The, what we've been talking about for the past two hours, um, Pokemon. That, in particular, is a Nintendo DSi charger. And uh, so you, you basically you know put the DSi right in, in the front part, and you have a nice little display to look at. And you're probably wondering where the power comes from. Well, <laughs> Pikachu is electric. Electric mouse. We all know that. And uh, it plugs in his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Right here, right here, right here. <laughs> <laughs> right in the pooper. <laughs> oh, man. Pika! <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> What's that Pokemon that uh, that he faces in Sun and Moon? The the bigger kid has it. it it's another electric mouse, but it charges. Right, you? No, no, no. Oh, no. you're talking about the when blue and white one? When he's popping the balloons. The blue and white one. Is that it? Yeah. No 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 no, 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 no. He's not talking about them. No. It, it, like, makes Seven generation. Spikes. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like something Maru, right? Oh, my God. It's not Benny Maru. That's a person. <laughs> it's something, something Maru. I know that. It has to be. It's like it's a white and yellow mouse. Thing, yes, and it right? absorbs Pikachu's energy and then turns it into spikes and pops all the balloons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, you know what? Hold on. I, this is going to bother me, so that's why I'm actually resorting to Google. Google, everyone, for all of your searching needs. Okay. Uh, seven gen Pokemon. So we were going off on a tangent about that, and I completely Meryl? forgot. No. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Meryl, 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 Meryl. <laughs> <laughs> that wait no the Dene, this thing right that here. thing yeah right? that thing that thing toad toge demaru that was right it was something maru what is it toge demaru toge demaru toge demaru <laughs> yeah it's it, they kept the same name surprisingly they didn't make it into like because you know a lot of the a lot of the names don't always cross over like lizardon for example is Jap and time shut up <laughs> <laughs> Japanese as Japanese Charizard, and obviously we got Charizard as Charizard. Um, like Pikachu stayed, Mewtwo stayed, as far as names go. Um, but characters like uh, like Blastoise is not Blastoise at all in ja Blast. In in Japanese, it's Comex. How do you say it? Comics. <laughs> <laughs> Comics. Yeah, yeah. Um, who else? Um, oh, you'll never guess Scizor. In Japanese. I don't know. Hassam. Oh, Hassam. <laughs> I don't know where you I don't know where 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 it comes from. But um and the only reason why I, how I know these is because I play Pokemon Tournament DX and I've been a part of that community for ever since well before it even started. And having a lot of Japanese friends and then play having them come here and we going there and like, you know, playing yeah. together, we learned that their their mo some of their mons are different names than ours. So like, um, uh, Gardevoir is actually called Sir Knight. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was thinking about the episode when Meowth looks under Mimikyu's uh, 
Oh, hey. yeah. And then he comes out and he goes, and I just saw a really beautiful Gardevoir. And I'm just like, oh, okay, now that yeah. you just said that. Oh, Sir Knight, wow, you got the hots for a dude. <laughs> a dude pokemon <laughs> yeah um i'm trying to remember any others dark cry is the same suicune's the same uh what, what? i'm trying to what mm, okay while you're thinking i just want to notify everyone listening and or watching that this bell actually says titanic on it yeah and it's also it was from tj maxx but they took the sticker off finally but it says Titanic, 1912, London. So is this like the iceberg? <laughs> <laughs> I like how even to get a full laugh, he tried hard not to let that one out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, today was good. Today was fun. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You had to gush about Pokemon for two hours. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't ask for a better show. The, the messed up part is, is we could probably do four more episodes of Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. and I would still be just as lost. No. So you'd be teaching me about Pokemon. Isn't you that... teach me, and I'll teach you <laughs> Pokemon! Pokemon! Gotta catch them all! <laughs> Gotta catch them all! Pokemon! <laughs> I didn't even mean for that to happen. No, it was perfect. It was gold. That was radio gold right there. Right. That's right. That's why people come to watch. Yeah. It's for all the, the shenanigans and impromptu <laughs> stuff that takes place. That's not even like like scripted or at all. It's like this is just us. I mean, come on now. You guys can't tell me you don't like watching Uchi's priceless reactions to the stupidity that comes from my mouth sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> You get cowbell. Oh, the dud! <laughs> <laughs> the dud. So should we like should we like plug our stuff now? Yeah, it's time for stuff plugging. Stuff plugging. <laughs> phrasing. Pikachu's <laughs> butt. Ahem. <laughs> 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 Ray, you do Instagram. not understand my power. Um, well, before before we do all that, we just want to throw a quick reminder, if that's okay with you guys. Okay. We I just want to give a quick reminder to everyone watching and listening this evening that yes, we are in search of sponsors. Oh yeah. So if you do know anyone that would like to sponsor this station, it kind of helps keep the lights on here, you know. And so if you like our shenanigans, see if you guys can find us a sponsor. And we are still looking for a name yes. to our show. So what we could do is we could possibly do a giveaway. We'll figure out what we'll be giving away probably by the next episode. So think of those names and get back to us. And remember, the phone number is always 570-664-0597. So make sure you guys call us, because we love talking to you just as much as we love talking to each other. <laughs> you know? yes. And I love talking to you as much as I talk to myself. You know, So <laughs> you know, it's usually more fun with another person. Yeah. But I am Ray, and my Instagram handle is initialdream86. Check me out. This is Uchi. The Uchi, the Uchi Games guy. I uh, I do I do reviews and uh, reactions and uh, and uh, and streams and uh, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you can, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube at Uchi Games. It's basically it. I'm Ashley. I'm future dash Ashley on Instagram. I'm just a regular weeb who just posts dumb stuff all the time. <laughs> Fun pictures. I Lighten up. <laughs> Be happy about your pl future Ashley. Yep. I'm, from future. I'm from the future. Future Ashley. Yes. Killer Dragon Ball cosplay. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. We didn't even mention that. Oh, my gosh. Everyone who cannot, who is not watching, she is dressed as... Future Trunks from Dragon Ball Super. Future Ashley from Dragon Ball Super. I'm not wearing the blue wig because I did not feel like spending three hours putting all this hair into a wig. So I have hair that goes down to pretty much my butt. Mm. And it fits inside a blue wig that I have that's like short blue hair. And I uh, didn't feel like packing it on today. 
At least you don't have a plug in your butt. Yeah, but I do have to use like three <laughs> head condoms. And on that note, we'll see you next week. Catch y'all later. Catch them as my